What's going on everyone? My name is Eric and on today's video we're going to be addressing a question that I get asked a lot and a lot of that relates to some of the dime bag mods that I do on some of the guitars that I take in. This is specifically talking about how to delete the tone knob. It's a very easy mod to do and Dimebag did it on pretty well all of his guitars for various reasons. And there's a lot of people who are wondering just how you actually do it. And normally I show this in other videos that I have on my channel with working on different guitars and things like that. But I usually get asked in various other videos or even on threads and other things in different like Facebook groups and things like that of how you actually do that. So this video is gonna be an all encompassing how you remove your tone knob so I'm not just linking back to other videos. So what you're gonna see in today's video is how to remove the tone knob from your electric guitar circuit and how to keep all the rest of your electronics looking pretty stock as you can see on this guitar here. So without further ado, let's just go right ahead and remove the tone knob. All right, and here is the back of the guitar opened up here. This guitar has two volumes and one tone pot. The easiest way to figure out which one is the tone pot is going to be the one with the capacitor on the back here. Capacitors come in different colors and they come in different values and the different capacitor values affect the overall tonal characteristics and the overall tone that the actual tone knob is going to have. And now looking at the actual wiring of the tone knob here, we have the wiring that comes from the pickup selector right here. The ground is then soldered to the back of the potentiometer. And then the hot wire, which is colored in white here, is then soldered right to one of the tabs here. And then same deal with the output jack. We have the gray shielded output jack here. The ground from the output jack is soldered to the back of the potentiometer. And then the hot white wire is soldered right to the same tab that the pickup selector wire is soldered to as well. So then what you're gonna do is desolder the two hot wires from the tab here and then put them into their own connection. You wanna have a lot of ample airflow and you wanna make sure the actual soldering iron is hot enough to melt the existing solder that holds the wires together on the jack like that. As you can see, I've twisted the two hot wires and they still are soldered together. If you have to reattach it, make sure you're using enough solder lead right here and you're using a little bit of soldering paste right here just to make sure the connections are clean and they are going to stick together. Now the last thing that you want to do is actually cover this bare metal here. So now the easiest way you can do that is with a little bit of electrical tape here. I've shown that a few times in some of the videos that I've worked on with any sort of open end connection here and that is a quick and easy way to prevent the exposed metal wire on the back there from touching anything else in the circuit and preventing the signal from actually flowing through the guitar. And those are all the steps that you need to remove the tone knob from your electric guitar circuit. There are many different thoughts and opinions on whether it makes a difference or not. I'm not gonna show that in today's video because my mileage might be different from your mileage and obviously there's so many different factors involved. I encourage you to try this on your own, go buy a soldering iron and then follow the steps in this video to then remove the tone knob from your electric guitar circuit. As I said earlier, some of my favorite players have done this exact same mod and there's other players who have honestly opted for just having one volume knob on their guitar or having a push-pull potentiometer that engages and disengages the tone knob. All that has me thinking that maybe there is some sort of tonal variation when you have the tone engaged and disengaged in the circuit. I've heard large differences, I've heard subtle differences, and some guitars I've just heard no difference at all. So it all depends on what you are wanting to achieve and what you're going to hear based on your own rig and your own playing and things like that. So I hope you learned something in this video, especially with a very easy mod that I get asked on a lot and I encourage you to go try this on your own and see if it makes a difference in your guitar's overall tone. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you learned something new, let me know in the comments below. And if you've tried this mod and you've got some interesting results from it, let me know in the comments below. Would love to engage with you all on this. And if this is your first time here, consider subscribing. I have lots of different setup and tutorial and mod videos like this, lots of other guitar covers and Pantera and Dimebag related videos on this channel as well. And that's about it. Thanks for checking this out and I'll see you next time.